Hi everyone, I'm Kelly, the Student Life Admin, and I'm bringing you the word of the week. This week's word is coping. Coping is defined as to face and deal with responsibilities, problems, or difficulties, especially successfully or in a calm or adequate manner. I believe this is a very relevant word in light of the times we are living in. We have a lot to cope with. A pandemic, isolation from our loved ones, political and civil unrest, what ifs, so many unknowns. I'll be real with you guys, even just listing those off is stressing me out. Now here's a very important question. What do you feel like doing when you're stressed? How do you cope with difficulty? The goal is to cope well when things get hard, but unfortunately it's really easy to cope in an unhealthy way. Personally, my first response to cope with something stressful used to be keeping busy and staying in control. At first glance, that might sound okay. I had some pretty scary things happen in my past that made me feel very out of control. I was hurting. And when the stress built up over time from those events, I found myself trying to busy myself with as many things as possible and control the wrong things. I started trying to make everything around me perfect. And of course, that's not actually possible. So when it wasn't perfect, I'd get very frustrated with the people around me for not being good enough. And I hate to say this, but criticizing the people around me, controlling how things were done, and keeping my schedule completely booked gave me a short sense of relief from the things that happened to me. But I quickly found myself frustrated and burnt out. It makes me think of the story of Mary and Martha from Luke 10, chapters 38 through 42. Martha is real stressed. She has Jesus coming to her home, and I'm guessing that she's feeling a little inferior. She wants the best representation of herself and her home to him, and she doesn't seem to think it's enough as is. So Jesus is sitting there in her home, teaching, and what is Martha doing? She's busying herself, stressing on making everything perfect, and she's criticizing Mary for not helping. But Mary is actually doing exactly what Jesus wants us all to do. He wants us to come, sit with him, and listen to his word. Martha, Martha, the Lord answered, you are worried and upset about many things, but few things are needed, or indeed only one. And Mary has chosen what is better, and it will not be taken away from her. So, how frequently is our unhealthy coping habits keeping us from hearing Jesus and what he wants for us? I had to go through a lot of self-reflection to get to a place of healthy coping habits when things got out of control, stressful. First, it's important to understand and see what your bad coping habits actually are. List them out. Figure out what your stressors and your triggers are. Most of the time, we can't get rid of the stressors, but with help from scripture, we can learn how to live in the midst of them with God's peace. It is more than possible for us to learn good coping habits during these stressful times by leaning into God's word. Now, when I'm tempted to criticize and control a situation, I stop myself. I journal those urges and feelings. I reach out to friends who have trusted to hold me accountable. I walk, I meditate, I recognize the urge to seek comfort in unhealthy things. And it's not easy. But with practice and support, we can take those bad coping habits and replace them with good.